Welcome back to 843 TV. We're here now with Mr. John Strother. He is the broker in charge at Spring Island Realty. Thanks for coming back. How are you? Well, thank you. I'm doing great. So it's really obvious if you come on Spring Island what would draw somebody here, but what personally drew you to Spring Island? Well, it's like John saying, it's, it's a feeling that you have about Spring Island. You, you come across the bridge and you see the unbridled nature and just the trees, the ruins like we have it's here. It's amazing. It's just an amazing place. I remember the first time I ever came here, it was in the late 90s. It was probably about 20 years ago and there was a, a dinner the Trust was putting on out here. And it was a summer night and there was a nice gentle breeze coming off the marsh. And, the ruins were lit up. It was really an incredible experience. There were a couple hundred people here. And I just fell in love with the history of it and the, the feeling that, um, that people had been on this site for 300 years, you know, living the history of South Carolina. So that was one of the things. And then I spent about a day with uh, Jim Strickland, who is the um, chief of historical concepts, an architectural firm in Atlanta. And they've designed 60 homes in Spring Island. Mm -hmm really fantastic um, architectural firm and a really fantastic gentleman. You can get so excited talking to him, but he was explaining to me and showing me the different houses, the porches, the screen doors, how the houses evolved uh, into compounds from small cottages to bigger houses. And they don't all look the same, which I love. Well, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's the fantastic thing about this is they're all different and each home expresses the personality of right. the person who owns it. And it's just an amazing thing. I think that to me adds to the uniqueness of this community. John, you've described a lot of the kinds of folks that are here, but can you embellish that a little bit about the kind of folks that, that are attracted to Spring Island? Well, they're, um, they're obviously successful people. Uh, I had a member uh, yesterday uh, tell me that it's one of the only places he's ever been that you know somebody for five or six years and never know what they did. Right. <laughs> uh, no one asked about that. I don't think anybody really cares about that. Um, it's, they, they enjoy being with uh, each other and doing the different things. Uh, Spring Island has so many activities going on here that um, I talked to a man the other day and he didn't play golf, he didn't play tennis, he didn't hunt, fish, shoe clays, anything. But he does all those things now because we have those things in right. Spring Island. And he said, for my whole life I've worked and I've accumulated, you know, I've, I've done well. So what am I going to do? What am I going to live now that I don't have to work? Yes, and I'm going to do the things I've wanted to do but I've never been able to Which do. Which is what retirement is all about. It's it like is. starting your life all over again. Spring Island offers that supportive environment to do it. Um, I mean, we have people that came here that never painted, uh, that are portrait artists or landscape artists. I mean, really accomplished artists now, you know. And sure, you can do that. You can travel 30 miles away and go to a class or something, but it's with strangers and things like that. Yeah. And here we have our, uh, different artist programs that um, it's the extended family doing it. And here, let's try this. Nurture and, it in more of a loving environment, for the lack yeah. of a better Well, exactly. I know. <laughs> it yeah. is. It's a good support. Yeah. Um, one of the things that makes Spring Island unique is its geographical location and its seclusion, but that also means that a lot of people don't know about Spring Island. Uh, how are you going to uh, help us with uh, being able to make people know about Spring Island, particularly those that would find Spring Island a, a place they'd want to live? Yeah, well that's a challenge. Uh, we're located halfway between Buford and Hilton Head and uh, between Savannah and Charleston. Um, that um, that challenge is one of our advantages but um, you know what we're doing now is uh, in the past all of our property owners came from referrals from property owner referrals uh, people be looking other places um, and you know someone would say oh well have you looked at Spring Island you know uh, I have a friend that owns property down there no so those people would come down here and they would buy so now we're doing local outreach around here community awareness programs like this program TV commercials articles in different local magazines uh, we have hired a new company out of Charleston to do our uh, internet marketing Kristen Lee mm -hmm. And um, so we've got a lot of new programs going on that have generated a lot of new leads and a lot of, a lot of sales. And, and because of that, the past 90 days for you guys have, has been pretty, 
pretty fun and wild. So tell us, you have like a property or a home site you can tell us about real quick? Yes, uh, it's been really crazy. I mean, sales are way up and um, the property I want to talk about right now is 15 Bird Patch. And that was designed by Peter Brower. He's a principal of BRZ Architecture. He lives here in Spring Island. And this is a Leeds Platinum Certified Home. Um, to our knowledge, it's the only one in South Carolina. And he has a two and a half acre lot and he put this cottage, it's 1,500 acres. He's a sailor, so he designed this like a, a sailboat. It's, That's cool. It's tight, it really is. It's such a cool home. It's tight, reclaimed materials, no artificial materials in there at all. Um, it only costs $1,200 a year for the utility bill for this home. Oh, wow. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so quiet, it's so clean, and he sighted it with the sun angles and the wind angles. There's room for the main house, and then there's room for a garage over there too on this two and a half acre site uh, with a pond over here and a golf course over here. And that's at um, eight, uh, 695. Wow. And uh, that's just a fantastic buy. It's a fantastic home too. That's great. Yeah. We have a home site. Uh, one of my favorites is number one, uh, Live Oak Forest, which is right over there. It's a four acre site. On the marsh, it has a great elevation change to it. Most property here is flat. Yeah. Well, this is has a just a fantastic rise and fall to it, which would give you all kinds of design possibilities. Chichester Forest Preserve to the left of it, into the road, beautiful marsh views like this. Um, and that's a fantastic property at 395. That that lot is neat for me because it's got a pair of barred owls that uh, nest right on the edge of that. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, folks, I, I think with those with those price points too, a little surprising. I think or they're somewhat affordable. Mm -hmm. So you know, contact John. What's the best way to get you if somebody's interested in these properties? You can call us at 843-987-2200 or springisland.com. Alrighty. Well, make sure you go check out their website and make sure that you join us next time for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.